we're just traveling south, we're freezing cargo holds, and we're running the engine room and monitoring the equipment. And uh, this vessel, particularly, how long have you been on, and what's the, so special about the vessel? Yes, Coastal Standard, I've been on here seven years. I was actually involved with it in the shipyard for a couple of months prior to it going into water. When I first came on, none of this was even here. It was just gutted out. The workers were putting the stuff in. So I had a few suggestions and how stuff was laid out. So it's partially your baby. It is my baby. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. A really quick run through, like, when you depart, what are the few things that are important that you take care of, and then when you arrive? Normally when we depart, I have to blow down, start the main engine, then I call the wheelhouse, they bring the engine, they clutch in the gear because they control it all through the CP panel. It's a CP wheel with a shaft generator. So they clutch in, they set the speed, then I have to switch over from a John Deere that we're on over to the shaft generator, which gives them the electricity for the thrusters, and, and then, then we leave, and then that's in reverse when we get to a dock. We use the thrusters to get to the dock, then I'm gonna be preparing to shut down the main engine, so then I switch to a John Deere to let them work the cargo elevator. It's also the maintenance set, but the uh Pretty important part of the job, though. Yeah, the yeah, cargo. yeah. We service the main engine like every 900 hours. That turns out to be like two and a half trips. Uh, we don't run our John Deere auxiliary engines, except only when we're at cargo ports, where other boats might have to change the oil on them every trip. We might change it every three or four months, and we're really lucky on the oil changes. You've been with this company for a while. 34 and a half years, been a chief for 34. Yeah, what do you think about your uh, life as an engineer for a maritime company? I love the responsibility, the challenge, because every day can be something different that arises. Yeah. And I love freezing stuff. Probably 75% of my job is freezing stuff. <laughs> and I love refrigeration. You said this is your reflection. Yes, this, this engine room is like my resume. Yeah. It is a reflection upon me. Yeah. If people come and look at it, they're going, wow, this guy's pretty squared away. Yeah. I go on a boat, I just homestead it. So. This boat's a little unique. It has a little bit more technology than the older boats have. We have the shaft generator. We have this controlled pitch propeller. Uh, just a lot of same systems, just more technology into them. A lot of, not, not so much manual stuff anymore, it's all circuitry and relays and wires. What would you say to the newcomers, the people who are interested in becoming an engineer? Well, the maritime field in itself encompasses deck, engine room, you gotta have a love for the sea you got to be prepared to be gone away from family because that's a given. Uh, my personal words that I lived by is if you can make X number of dollars on the beach, if for you to go to sea you should make double what you make on the beach otherwise it's not worth going. But there's just something about the lifestyle that you can't beat. It, it gets in your blood, yeah. and I can't, I, I've never done anything else. I've worked on boats for like 52 years. I've either lived or worked in Alaska since 1968, every year. I married into a fishing family. This coastal maritime affords me to connect with fishing in the Bering Sea where I fished in Southeast. So I'm still in the fishing industry somewhat. Right. right. I never got out of it. <laughs>